Uh, now it's time for us to look from Japan and outside. And we will start this session by hearing from Professor Vashida around a little bit more the Galapagos syndrome and what it is that makes it sometimes tough for Japan to go outside and what could be done about this one. So please, Vashida-san. Uh, yes. Hello, uh, my name is Yuichi Washida, uh, Associate Professor at Shitotsubashi University, Tokyo. Uh, my major is uh, Global Marketing and Innovation. Uh, today, uh, I will show my uh, research results uh, and uh, uh, I try to discuss the, the problem of Japanese uh, companies. The first one, uh, I will show uh, one keyword, very important keyword, Galapagos syndrome. Do you know Galapagos syndrome? Yes, no, no, yes, yes, no. <laughs> okay, uh, you can imagine it. <laughs> uh, the right, right side is the uh, Japanese uh, mobile handset 10 years ago. Uh, but it looks very interesting, but uh, somehow odd, strange. Uh, the right side is the uh, Samsung Galaxy series. Uh, the uh, journalist said uh, Japanese uh, mobile phone technology uh, in 10 years ago was at the very advanced uh, cutting edge, however uh, isolated uh, from the other market in the global scene. Uh, they, uh, they, they say uh, Japanese uh, uh, technology uh, is the Galapagos. <laughs> okay, uh, it, it, it looks like the, uh, uh, those animals, very strange animals. Uh, those animals are very significant but uh, isolated. Uh, on, the other, uh, on the other hand, uh, the today's uh, uh, smartphone or the tablet PC uh, is successfully uh, evol uh, 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 make the re evolution from the monkey to the uh, human being. Uh, the, this is a very serious problem uh, from past decades in all of Japanese uh, companies. Why uh, has Galapagos syndrome occurred? Uh, many researchers pointed out three uh, factors. One is failure of marketing segmentation. Uh, second, uh, oversight of design importance. Uh, it, it means the uh, overestimation of functionality. Okay. The third, a uh, lack of open innovation. Uh, many of you know Japanese, uh, many of Japanese uh, manufacturers uh, focus on the Japanese technology, uh, not the uh, outside technology. Uh, it's a kind of cross innovation style. However, uh, this decade, uh, the open innovation uh, can uh, realize uh, a more uh, speedy. Uh, innovation uh, development. Okay. Uh, the, our, so research question of our research question is can Japanese corporates enter overseas market competition appropriately? If a uh, Japanese company uh, can enter the uh, overseas market competition, probably uh, they may feel the pressure uh, from the uh, market and uh, try to uh, make realize the open innovation or at least uh, adopt the each market uh, demand. Uh, our question is that uh, if a Japanese uh, company uh, cannot enter the overseas market appropriately, uh, probably they cannot get the uh, appropriate uh, feedback from the outside. Uh, that can cause the Galapagos syndrome. That is my, our research question. Uh, the, uh, in detail, first one, appropriate timing and amount of investment in uh, rapidly growing markets. Uh, you know, Japanese uh, domestic market is uh, too mature and uh, growing speed is very slow. However, uh, the, in Asian countries, uh, they enjoy the very rapid uh, growth uh, now. Uh, th that's the first point. The second point is appropriate governance of foreign branch offices. Uh, many of Japanese companies have the headquarters in Tokyo or Osaka area. 
the, the outside overseas uh, office is a kind of a branch office, not the uh, regional headquarter, uh, even at this point. Uh, then uh, governance is a very important uh, uh, issue in, in Japanese corporate. <coughs> So the, uh, we uh, conducted the uh, uh, survey uh, for uh, 97 uh, business uh, enterprise in Japanese uh, companies. Uh, the respondent is business individuals from large Japanese companies in, uh, who is in charge of their global marketing or strategy. Uh, the distribution of the uh, uh, area region is uh, very good. 40% uh, North America, 70% uh, Europe, and 4% uh, Russia, 2% uh, Latin America, 1% uh, Africa, sorry. Uh, China is the largest, <laughs> uh, 21%. Taiwan is 5%. ASEAN is another largest part, uh, 22%. India and Bangladesh is growing, but uh, we have only 8% uh, and 1%. Others is 5%. Okay, uh, those uh, uh, distribution uh, can uh, uh, reflect uh, today's Japanese uh, companies' globalization. Okay. And uh, uh, the ca category of business is also uh, well balanced. 38% uh, is B2C for consumer directly, and uh, B2B uh, uh, the uh, uh, medium uh, industry between uh, uh, business to business, 37%. Uh, and the other 25% is the distribution industry, uh, like wholesaler or the uh, supermarket or something, convenience store or something, okay? Uh, the, our initial hypothesis is that uh, their launch strategy have been continued even during the growth stage uh, in the uh, emerging uh, market, uh, emerging uh, where grow, uh, uh, growing countries. Okay. Uh, it means uh, it shows this figure. Uh, Japanese market, uh, J Japanese company, uh, still now seeking or educating potential customers uh, under the thinking that uh, a new market is not uh, mature, not not growing. Then, uh, however, uh, today's uh, emerging countries' uh, position is. Uh, well, well advanced. And then uh, this is a very big gap between company side and the market side, and the overseas market. Uh, the, in the, the, this growing, uh, uh, growing uh, stage, uh, a good amount of investment and the branding strategy and the getting market share is the uh, most important point. However, uh, the Japanese, uh, many of the Japanese company uh, do not uh, focus, in on, focus on those uh, strategies. That is our uh, initial hypothesis. Then uh, let's uh, examine those hypothesis uh, with uh, our uh, result, research results. The first, uh, in observing only basic index uh, sales, uh, sorry, oh, sorry, uh, uh, sorry, uh, the, the blue line uh, is the uh, oh. <laughs> uh, 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 this is the uh, what we say is blue line uh, indicates the sales. Uh, this is very uh, rational uh, in the uh, loan stage, growth stage, expansion stage. Uh, is the, they have uh, they have the amount of good, good amount of sales. However, the, the declining stage uh, sales is uh, decreased. And the red line and the uh, green line indicates the uh, probably mm, so sorry uh, <laughs> the the, the uh, indication is disappeared sorry uh, this is the uh, uh, probably uh, market presence uh, and the, uh, probably this is the. Uh, some kind of branding strategy or something, okay? Uh, th those uh, basic index is uh, very rational. Then uh, uh, Japanese uh, uh, companies' marketing strategy uh, obey the uh, theory uh, or uh, basic theory of the, uh, those uh, expanding strategy. However, uh, if we see more details uh, indexes, such as uh, creating a new market opportunity or 
uh, pursuing market share or uh, maximizing ROI something. Uh, we have uh, uh, one uh, very odd uh, finding. Uh, the, uh, creating a new market opportunity is de requiring, uh, uh, depending on the uh, maturity of the space. It is irrational. However, uh, pursuing market share and maximizing ROI is simultaneously pursued. Uh, this is somehow very odd uh, from the viewpoint of uh, marketing theory. Because uh, if we uh, uh, try to get uh, more market share, uh, ROI is declining. If we see uh, uh, focus on the ROI, uh, we have to give up some market share. Uh, however, uh, many of Japanese uh, enterprise uh, try to pursue uh, both of two simultaneously. It is a very big problem. This is more detailed data. Uh, we uh, put three uh, factors for each uh, market stage. For instance, launching stage, we put the two, uh, three factors, new opportunity, exploring customers, and educating customers. A uh, growing stage, uh, presence up, sales up, and uh, uh, market share up. Uh, mature stage, maximizing ROI, uh, reaction to competitor, and uh, customer satisfaction. And uh, uh, in the vertical uh, axis and the horizontal axis, we put the same uh, nine factors. And try to see uh, each factor's correlation rate. If the uh, strategy is very rational, uh, correlation uh, is uh, uh, diagonal, okay? However, <laughs> we can find the red space. That is a correlation, a high correlation rate between mature stage and growing stage. <laughs> this is, uh, I would say, uh, wrong strategy. <laughs> this is uh, our findings. Then uh, we uh, have to uh, modify our initial hypothesis. This is the result. Probably, uh, Japanese, many of Japanese market uh, company uh, trying to uh, apply domestic mature strategy to emerging market. This is uh, a major cause of uh, Galapagos syndrome. Because uh, uh, from the viewpoint of Japanese uh, enterprise, uh, the, each technology uh, should be uh, adopted uh, quickly, <laughs> for instance. Uh, each uh, the uh, idea or the uh, new concept should be understood easily, uh, and the uh, uh, consumer uh, uh, can afford for the uh, new technology. However, uh, this is a viewpoint of a mature uh, uh, enterprise. However, uh, in the uh, emerging uh, countries, emerging market. Uh, new technology uh, is uh, probably in many cases new technology uh, is defeated by the cheaper price <laughs> for instance and uh, 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 the good durability uh, with, uh, can uh, uh, yeah, can win the uh, too high functionality uh, and uh, uh, for instance the, uh, yeah, big investment uh, is preferred by the uh, very well segmented uh, uh, small niche market strategy. Uh, those things, uh, uh, yeah, uh, those things, uh, by those things, uh, Japanese uh, company uh, is suffering of the Galapagos syndrome. Okay, uh, this is uh, our uh, findings. Okay. Uh, in, uh, yeah, due to those uh, effects, uh, many Japanese uh, companies uh, did have been only uh, too modest investment. Uh, uh, those kind of modest investment, of, of course, uh, earn the uh, uh, revenue. However, the revenue uh, amount of revenue is very limited. Uh, in 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 the same. Uh, period, uh, the other competitor uh, enjoy uh, much rapid growth and much, uh, amount, much amount of uh, revenues. And those, those picture is 
the uh, Japanese uh, failure in the past decade, I think. And uh, we, when we see the history of globalization of Japanese companies, uh, and uh, also we put the uh, uh, four pieces of the marketing uh, frameworks uh, in, in those history. Uh, we can uh, s uh, make this uh, map. The first globalization for Japanese company is for the uh, North America. This occurred, th this occurred in the 1960s and the 1970s. Uh, we can see uh, the, uh, those effects still now. Then if we see the North America enterprise, uh, all of the four, four pieces, uh, product price, promotion price, uh, is uh, very well fitted the local market, in the North American market. Uh, and the second stage, uh, second globalization, uh, this is uh, for the European market. Uh, this occurred in uh, 80s and 90s. Uh, if we see the European enterprise uh, research result, uh, we found uh, the two different points uh, uh, compared with the North, uh, North American result. Uh, the product uh, segment, uh, product strategy is controlled by Japanese headquarters. And the price uh, strategy is uh, totally same as the uh, Japanese domestic market. This is the big difference uh, between uh, uh, the first globalization and the second globalization. And uh, uh, today, uh, now we are going to do the, the third uh, globalization to the emerging countries. Uh, I, we found uh, the uh, below two promotion and place two piece is a well uh, local fitted already. This indicates uh, the, the the market uh, marketing operation is not uh, failed. Uh, I would say it is uh, was basically successful. However, uh, the uh, product strategy and the price uh, price strategy, uh, many of the Japanese uh, company uh, continue to do the same strategy uh, from the second globalization. Still now, it means uh, even for the emerging countries. Uh, product strategy is controlled by Japanese headquarters, and the price segmentation uh, is the totally same as the Japanese domestic market. It means uh, that for the emerging country, uh, the Japanese product is too expensive. Uh, it uh, aim at only the uh, rich segment. Uh, this is uh, uh, yes uh, difficulty of today's Japanese company marketing strategy. Okay. Yes, uh, I, based on our uh, analysis, uh, I would say this is the, uh, yes, uh, those uh, unnecessary transfer from past decades uh, can cause the misfitting for the emerging countries. Uh, this is uh, the one uh, major reason of Galapagos syndrome. Okay. And uh, the other uh, data, very interesting data I will show. This is the, uh, from the same uh, survey. Uh, we uh, made the very interesting index uh, called uh, Average Know-How Sharing Index. Uh, we, uh, we asked the respondent uh, how, how, how much uh, know-how of management and marketing uh, uh, will be shared by the headquarter or another uh, office, branch office. Uh, then uh, we, we made the, uh, one single uh, number of in for the uh, know-how share index. Okay? Uh, we found very interesting result uh, about those index. Uh, China office. Uh, we, Today, uh, Japanese, many of Japanese companies have a very big uh, China branch. <laughs> However, this China office is not uh, <laughs> eager to uh, share their marketing or management know-how to other uh, branch office or Japan, even Japanese headquarters. Uh, this is the lowest. 
the second lowest is the U.S. service. However, this indicates that uh, already uh, North America branch is uh, how, how to say uh, independent uh, because they have a long history. Okay, and the other offices is uh, controlled by the Japanese headquarter. Uh, mm -hmm. the, the, uh, yes. This result uh, is a very significant uh, uh, conclusion for us. Uh, many Japanese uh, company cannot utilize the China Express in the, this debate. Uh, China market is the only uh, the, the only uh, market. Uh, it uh, grows uh, very quickly and a very vast uh, uh, amount of the uh, potential. This is, uh, it means the only, uh, China expands the only uh, expense for Japanese company to uh, realize, uh, to express the uh, rapid growth. However, at this point, uh, many of Japanese company uh, cannot utilize this uh, very rare, uh, important expense in the total marketing strategy. Okay? This is another uh, uh, reason why Galapagos syndrome uh, can be occurred again and again. Okay? So conclusion, first, uh, major cause of Japan's Galapagos syndrome is not marketing operation failure, but too modest investment and uh, unnecessary experience transfer from the previous decade. And the second, uh, Japanese corporates uh, uh, does not yet utilize or activate China expense in this decade. The third, uh, to overcome Galapagos syndrome, Japanese corporates should focus on local fit uh, instead of Japan standard standardization. Uh, those uh, findings is the, uh, our survey results. Uh, probably uh, those findings imply uh, the uh, larger, more bigger uh, problem, uh, yes, uh, put, yes, uh, behind uh, today's Japanese uh, industry structure. Okay. Yeah. Thank you very much. Thank you, Mashida san and uh, we will also come back to for questions uh, okay. later on, unless there is some. Immediate question. Yes, we do have okay. one, uh, and we have a mic somewhere coming. No yeah. Mic, no, no, no. Uh, yeah, but the, for the translators, okay. that's why. Sorry. Yeah. <clears throat> Okay, Hans Simon. I have a question. Uh, if you compare Japanese companies to, for instance, companies from Korea and Japan and, and China, uh -huh. how does that, that, that compare? Because uh, also with these companies, you see that the local headwaters are mostly uh, under full control of the headwater in, uh -huh. in, in Korea or in, uh, in China. At uh, this point, I'm sorry, we don't have the data of Korean company <laughs> or China company. Yeah, that, that's a very good. Uh, Question: We have to <laughs> do additional uh, survey in the fu near future. Yeah, but probably uh, I think the uh, some uh, Korean company, big company, or the China Chinese big company have the at least regional headquarter in overseas. However, uh, many of Japanese company have only one headquarter in Tokyo or Osaka, and uh, the other is just uh, branch office, not the regional headquarter. That's the problem. I think in, in Japanese society, the discussion is very evident around this problem. How can we uh, succeed? Yes, yeah, yeah, just start discussing. I don't know if it's similar in yeah, yeah. For instance, Ericsson has a lot of <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, regional headquarters, re regional big uh, office. Mm. However, uh, even in the very famous Japanese com company, uh, they don't have uh, the regional headquarters, <coughs> even now. Oh, that's a key. Except the uh, U.S. market. <laughs> yeah. ah, I think that's a very important key to success for our company to, to be able to work. Any other immediate questions? We do have two, and then we move on. Yeah. Uh, sorry? Yeah. yeah. Hello, my name is Ed Gammy from Finland Technology and Business Magazine. Uh, did you find any differences between uh, B2B and B2C companies, for example, in the framework of the four Ps? In this result, uh, in research, we, don't, we didn't find any uh, significant difference between B2C and B2B and their distribution. So 
and you think it was more of a cultural thing. Yeah, that's a, a yeah, very response. basic cultural yeah. Uh, program. Yeah, yeah. And then the last one. Hi, my name is Gavin and I'm from I'm from Hungary. If I can pick one Japanese company, uh, let's pick Sony. And do you think that Sony uh, can be considered as a victim of the Galapagos syndrome in, in two fields? Yes. One is the M <laughs> one is the one is the MP3 player because yeah. Sony had the Walkman and completely missed the MP3, and the other one is the flat pan pan flat panel television. Thank you. Yes. Uh, even. Even Sony, uh, they were well, suffering from the Galapagos syndrome. Yeah, uh, probably uh, Sony, of course, uh, yeah, distributes uh, very global uh, products in the worldwide. However, in, in the Japanese domestic market, <laughs> uh, we can see uh, tons of Sony products. <laughs> uh, yeah, probably, uh, yeah, many of the, uh, their products uh, can not uh, be exported outside. Even Sony, I think even Sony uh, is suffering the Gapagos. So. Okay, we will have more opportunities for questions.